Okay. So, now that F828. Yep, 28. That's right there. One two fiftieth, so it should be automatic. Three twentieth. I'm doing the compensation. Three, three one. Yeah, for the starker. I'm trying to match what I'm looking at. That might be too bright. Yeah, that's good. We'll leave it there. One one sixtieth and at F two eight. Now, if I do uh, three point two. 3.5, 4, okay, 4.5 is 1 60th of a shutter speed. And then if I go to zero, it's 1 100th at 4, 5. Sixtieth. Okay, that's right there. Air conditioner on. Driving. The screen looks blue, all right? I don't like the LCD screens on the uh, Sony cameras. I don't think I have steady shot on. I got a dummy battery hooked up into my car. And I got the 24 millimeter which is acting like a 36. On the Sony A7C, I didn't have a 35 millimeter. I had a, a 40 millimeter and a 24 millimeter. I used a 40 millimeter on the trip. So I think I'll take Nakatoches today. I'm now at 150th of a shutter speed. And so one over uh, exposure compensation plus one. Man, look at that wind blowing.
So I notice if you slow down, I still think that's too far. I'll say one thing folks it looks blue I don't know if that's because of the tent on the window or what I like that Tikia you know they have lights all the way around I like the new model the Kia Soul sure it's in focus. So basically I got the camera pointed um, in front and to the right on the sidewalk so you can get a little bit more of scenery. Looks like it's going to rain. The wind is blowing big time. So I have the uh, dead cat on top of the Sony. On my Z30, I don't use one because it's so good. I never had a problem with the wind either. So if it was dark outside, it'd be all right, but uh, the LCD screen has a bluish tint to it. It used to have a greenish tint. And it lost tracking, and now it's tracking a tree. Isn't that something? Was at the sky. There we go. Seeing that vehicle in front of me. Of course, he's turning off, and I have to make another marker.
So I keep pointing down the road. And it's still on that vehicle, which is a good thing. Of course, it's going up the hill. So now it's on the tree. Move to the right. You can see how windy it is. So what I do is I've taken photos of the uh, iPhone, I've taken footage of the uh, RX100 today, Mark V, and they're both one inch sensors, and I'm comparing it to a full frame. 24 millimeter f 1.8 or 2.8 I'm sorry it's an f 2.8 pancake lens on the uh, ZVE 10 and I have a dummy battery in here so this could be the vlogging camera for now. I use the Z30, and I think it's a better camera, but it overheats. Now, if I keep it at 1080 or high definition, it doesn't overheat. But 4K will last about maybe 35 minutes, and then it'll overheat. Uh, on the other cameras that I enjoy, the Z62, Z72. Um, they got a 30 minute time limit on 4K. But if you do high definition, there's no time limit. Now, if you set it at high definition, at 1080p at the highest, it renders very quickly within a half hour that you send it up. So I did that, I think, I used A7C for the blogging on the Christmas lights, and it lasted all the way through. So if you use high definition, it's still good quality, but it uses less disk or disk space. And you got uh, longer time in recording. So there's nothing wrong with high definition. I like the clarity of the 4K. And sometimes you get a crop, like I do here. just in case. Still daytime, but 
never know. It is getting darker, and it is sprinkling. People are speeding, as usual. So I don't know if they're putting in pipes for sewer or water. Probably, if you see cement, then it's probably sewer. I don't know. That's unusual. Wyatt Arp, A-R-P instead of Arp. Seguin, Texas. Looks like a good dodge. Usually I see them in black. It's nice to see a white one for once. They have an RT on there. I don't know what that's for. They always take their time on this. So they'll be stuck at the other light. See? Short light. Missed the potholes. And he ran the red light. still see the light. So I see there's no time limit on this. I'm at 85% on the battery. So on the Nikon, they don't anticipate on the battery life. Sony does. Of course, I didn't have any problem with the uh, A7C, though. But I didn't film it the whole 13 hours, either. Just a clip here, a clip there when it hit the city. Okay, I'm waiting for it to turn green. So all you had to really do is look to the left, and uh, if it turned red, then it should be green. But you never know. So I just go 40 miles an hour on this road, because there's a hill, and you, if you go over 45, there's usually a cop waiting to get you. So it's a 45 right here, but you see, there's a few tips in this road too. But you see mailboxes to the right, so sometimes the police officer is on that public road. Sometimes he's down to the left. But most of the time they're in here in the cemetery. Right. I don't see him.
This is a short and sweet car vlog. Haven't used the A7 III much. I love, I'm liking the A6100 better because it never overheats. It is a bigger camera though. And I got the, um, what is it, the G Master on there? 16 to 55, I think. F2.8. I love that lens. Like they got a lot of relatives seeing uh, my next door neighbor. His kids are in town. So anyway, thank you for watching. Let me park it. I'm going to leave the engine on because uh, it'll kill the power. I noticed that uh, the battery doesn't come on the camera until I turn the engine on. So that's okay. It's at 83% now. So, um, anyway, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. It, it looks blue. It should be a yellow wall or a white antique wall. So, so much for this uh, camera. It may be, uh, I've gotten a bad uh, CVE-10. You know, the HDMI port went bad after three days. And I didn't even have it moved. It just stopped working on the HDMI uh, output. So I've just been using it as a mobile camera ever since. But anyhow, um, any questions, just write in the comments below. Um, any comments or suggestions, same thing. And remember, stay safe and keep smiling. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.